So we're going to move on to cataracts. And uh, I think everybody in the group is familiar with this. Some of you might have had cataract surgery. So what are cataracts? Let's go to the next slide. Cataract, the term means white uh, in the Latin. So here is the cataract in this patient on the right eye. The left eye has no cataract. You can see it's totally clear lens behind the iris, the colored part. This is an example of a very advanced cataract, just to show the contrast. So when this patient looks at this scene here, looking through the normal eye, everything is sharp and clear, but looking through that cataract, things are fuzzy. This is the first thing patients notice. They need, this, things are blurred, they're clouded, they have problems seeing at night. Here in the United States, everybody has to drive. They can't see clearly at night. They stop driving. They are sensitive to light and glare. That bothers them. They have trouble reading. They see halos around lights. Uh, frequently, they have to change their glasses. Colors, they cannot appreciate colors. Some, sometimes they see double vision. So all these are problems that interfere with their daily life. The only thing we can do for that is to remove that cataract. Okay, let's go to the next slide. So just to show you, for example, the difference between normal and a cataract. On the right-hand side, a person with a clear, healthy lens looking at this picture will see a woman with glasses, bright colored blue uh, top, colors are vibrant, image is clear. On the left-hand side, same image, but looking, uh, looking at it through a cataract. It's the same image, you can recognize who the person is, but the colors are totally wrong. There is a glare and um, somewhat distorted and this can become frustrating so the only thing we can do is take that cataract out let's go to the next slide um, oh, who gets cataracts it is age related most of the time majority of the patient is age related um, there is a difference at what age people get cataract in India cataracts start around the age of 50 in the United States, we start seeing significant cataract after the age of 70. So it's somewhat related to age, but also to their environment, diet, etc. Patients who are diabetic, cataracts happen earlier. They also get kinds of cataracts that can happen very, very quickly, like within three months. Normally, cataracts take five, 10 years before they become significant. Uh, excessive exposure to sunlight, that may be the reason why People in India get cataracts earlier. Smoking, obesity, high blood pressure, injury inflammation, previous surgery. Sometimes if they're on medications like steroids, uh, people take steroids for many reasons. It accelerates the formation of cataracts. Okay, next slide. But the treatment for all of them is the same. You take it out. Cataract was first treated in India 2000, maybe 2500 years ago. Um, and you, so a lot of you might be familiar with this, Shushruta, he did what was known as couching. He would take a needle and push the cataract out of the way. And that's all he did. But it restored the sight in that patient. That's how it was treated for about 1,500 years. Then a couple of hundred years back, maybe not even that, uh, they started removing the cataract intact surgically. But they had no way of re placing that cataract with the lens. So these patients ended up with these thick lenses, so-called Coke bottle glasses. This is how you might see a lot of patients in India, even now. Uh, they cannot afford the implants, so they end up with these lenses. They work fine, just fine, no problem with this. Then during the Second World War, uh, the, the te plastics technology changed and they developed some polymers and plastics that could be used to make these lenses and implant them inside the eye. So you take the cataract out, that lens has to be replaced. And so they would put this intraocular lens inside the eye. So these patients do not usually don't need glasses to see well, for example, to drive or watch TV, but they would definitely need glasses to read. This is now the standard treatment for cataracts. Uh, let's see the next slide. I'll show you a little bit how it is done. Um, all of you being technology um, oriented will understand this. Uh, this is the type of instrument they use. This is a, called a FACO tip at the top. It's the size of a ballpoint pen. 
the surgeon goes into the eye through a small opening there. This is all done with topical anesthesia. We put drops on the patient's eyes and numb the eye. That's it. Patient is awake, nothing else. Uh, but it is numb. So they enter the eye. This is the cataract here. That cataract is emulsified and aspirated through the same probe. Now this probe uh, looks something like this. It creates a jackhammer effect and what is known as cavitation at the tip. Now, this is uh, ultrasonic probe, so it vibrates at 40,000 times a second. The temperatures can get as high as 13,000 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, but there is a water circulating around the probe constantly to keep the temperature down, otherwise it will burn the tissues. Uh, and then the whole cataract is emulsified and aspirated through the same probe. So we clean up that cataract. We leave behind this little bag in which the lens normally is enclosed. And into that bag is implanted this artificial lens, which is actually folded into another instrument, the same size. And the lens is implanted into the bag and it unfolds and opens up inside the bag. This is the intraocular lens. that. Now we put in almost every patient, and uh, I understand even in India, everybody who gets cataract surgery gets a lens implant. So let's see the next slide to show you what those implants look like. So this is a variety of implants that are available uh, on the market. And they all serve different purposes. They are cost differently. Um, I will not get into the detail. This is the size of that implant. It has what central disc we call an optic and th these are two little loops called haptics. Those, these loops act like a spring to hold the implant in place inside the eye. The most popular implant probably today, not popular, but um, probably the best implant available in US is this, Vivity, which takes, takes care of your distance vision as well as close-up vision. Now this becomes, this has become very important at least to patients in this country. After cataract surgery, they don't want to wear any kind of glasses. Now this becomes a problem if the implant is not the right type. Uh, if the implant takes care of distance vision so they can drive and watch TV, there is still a problem. What do you do when you're trying to read or use a computer or a cell phone? You still need glasses. So now they have implants that take care of all of that. The, the technology allows us to do that. These Vivity uh, lenses are probably the best on the market at this point, and things will change in the next few years. There, there are things on the horizon that are even better than that. Uh, the problem here is that most of the insurance companies will pay for the most simplest type of implant uh, but if somebody wants this, Vivity, they, it costs them um, maybe $2,000 per eye out of pocket. And that can become a problem. But I understand all these implants are available in India. Okay, next slide. So the, what's on the horizon as far as implants are concerned? This is, was, this is uh, what is known as extended depth of focus lens. Uh, most likely it will be approved this year in the U.S., uh, but it serves the same purpose. Um, but it works, uh, optically it works a little bit differently. Again, I will not get into the detail. Another type of implant that's available is light adjustable lens, where you put the implant inside the patient's eye, then apply this UV light over the next two, three weeks to adjust the power of that implant to suit that patient's needs. So it's customized for each individual patient. This is an expensive procedure, so it's not widely used in the US yet. I, I have a feeling that this implant here, the extended depth focus lens, will probably become the most popular in the next five, 10 years. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, now one last thing about cataracts. After the cataract is taken out, there is no lens, there is an implant which is clear, but the implant sits in this little bag I said earlier. Sometimes that bag becomes fuzzy over time. About 50% of the patients have this problem. This can happen 
within three months or three years after surgery. So we need to clean up that fuzzy bag in order to restore clear sight. And this can be done fairly easily. People call this a secondary cataract. Sometimes patients will ask me, will the cataract come back? The cataract can never come back, but this complication can happen. And it's very easy to clean that with a YAG laser. It takes five minutes. We clean up that whole thing. At the end of the procedure, the implant looks again crystal clear and patient is able to see clearly. Okay, so much about cataract.